So we have a good crowd here. Uh, I think we um, probably may get a few more. Um, we could start with maybe brief introductions by uh, the people, or by the participants. Uh, I'm Leonid Kovalev. Uh, I am Associate Chair for Undergraduate Studies, uh, which means many questions about a mathematics a major and applied mathematics major uh, usually come to me. And uh, joining us is Claudia Miller, who is uh, advising um, several student organizations. I don't actually know how many. Uh, Different levels. Are you including graduate students? And maybe three. Uh, yeah, that's you. <laughs> and uh, also a current undergraduate student, uh, Xinyu Mao, uh, is with us. Um, she is graduating uh, this May, right? Hi. And we should have uh, maybe another current major, uh, not not here yet. Um, and the rest of uh, you are, suppose I'm you to Syracuse. Did any of you have a chance to visit in person? I'm muted. Uh, so first of all, I want to say if you're comfortable, you could turn your cameras on, but also no pressure. But if you want. Uh, yeah, I, I got one message in chat, so not yet. Uh, I think that's probably uh -huh. the reason okay. why that's, fine. that's uh, the reason why you are uh, in a virtual information session is that you have not uh, been here in person. Well, uh, the reason I'm asking is because I wanted to share. Ah, oh, here's one more person. Um, I just wanted to share. So Today's is a nice, um, partially sunny day in Syracuse, and. Um, I just wanted to maybe quickly demonstrate uh, what the our surrounding, what it looks like. So the main quad uh, quadrangle of Syracuse University uh, is what you see in front of you. And uh, the building, uh, the location of our department is here in the historical uh, Carnegie building, uh, 1905. And uh, from uh, the building is where most of the mass classes will be. Uh, and uh, it looks uh, like this from the inside. Uh, well, that's a part of it. Uh, from the inside, the study area where um, not necessarily mass majors, but many other students uh, study as well. Uh, the classrooms are, classrooms are also found here. They are sort of in the corners of different buildings and professors have offices uh, on the higher floor of the building. And I believe this is the math department main building, main, uh, main office. So just a quick uh, introduction to get, give you an idea of where we are. Of course, probably wanted to hear more about our program uh, before I start, I, I do have a presentation, but before starting with it, does anyone have uh, questions um, they specifically would like to be answered? If you prefer chat, that's fine, but if anybody wanted to uh, unmute and just speak up, um, that would be great. One thing you may notice, uh, we are sharing this building with the library, uh, but that may change very soon. I think very soon there may be a little bit less of a library and more of mathematics department in this building. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get to the main uh, in, uh, presentation or introduction to the department. So uh, what, what is the Department of Mathematics at Syracuse University and what do undergraduate students do here? Um, well, make it slightly more visible. Um, some uh, usual statistics about uh, how many uh, people we have. Uh, so we are a moderately large department. 
uh, with uh, about 150 majors. Uh, we have a totally new program in statistics. It only started this year. So we are just, um, students are only beginning to declare it. Uh, otherwise, our students are about equally split between mathematics and applied mathematics. Um, you can think of it as a spectrum. Uh, mathematics is on the side of theory, statistics on the side of applications, uh, data-oriented applications, and uh, applied mathematics is sort of um, not exactly in between, but going towards science engineering. And indeed, uh, applied mathematics is uh, frequently a double major uh, with several majors uh, on campus. Students can have uh, multiple majors between different colleges. So one can have a major, well, somebody can be an engineering major and uh, have second major in mathematics or be double with physics and mathematics, or maybe have mathematics as a major and minor in computer science or data analytics. Uh, we, we keep introducing new courses. Um, those introduced more recently are mostly statistics courses uh, because of the new statistics program. But there are many. 35 courses is more than you're going to take. <laughs> Um, if you think about it, uh, uh, you, our majors finish in eight semesters. Um, so to, to take all of these courses, you would need to do more than four per semester. And that's, of course, too much. Though, of course, uh, this only means uh, there is room to choose. Uh, there are choices uh, to be made. Uh, and besides taking classes, uh, we have a directed reading program, uh, which is uh, support, which is organized by our graduate students, and it's been running for several years and been very successful. Uh, we have um, a senior seminar, which runs every year. Currently, who is teaching it currently? Uh, well, Claudia, it cannot be you since you are on leave. I forgot. I'm not there. Uh, right. I think um... it's Professor Diaz. Uh, I think she is probably okay. uh, doing something related to coding theory, uh, algebraic, coding. Th uh, right, algebraic theory or um, algebraic codes, at least uh, I, th I think so. Uh, but uh, the topic of senior seminar is not so important. Uh, it changes every year. Uh, the important thing is that this is um, like a capstone experience, um, which allow students to see mathematics deeper in seminar format and uh, potentially graduate with distinction if they do that. Uh, Shin, you, can, can I ask if you uh, did senior seminar? No, I didn't, but like I'm doing my senior thesis. Ah, okay, yeah, that's that's uh, right. So that's the uh, next uh, item then. Uh, one can write a senior thesis, which can also qualify for distinctions and without instead of the seminar. Uh, and some of the projects are funded by our SU office for undergraduate research. So students get summer support. So they uh, can do research full time during summer. I think that's, uh, we had several majors doing so. Uh, we, independent study courses means um, <laughs> if, if the 35 courses are still not enough, uh, and you'd like to study something specific, uh, which is not there, uh, it is possible to do it as independent study. Uh, one of our extracurricular activities is uh, Putnam contest participation. Of course, this is probably every, ma every mathematics department does it to some extent. Uh, uh, so do we. Uh, our students practice uh, for Putnam uh, contest uh, during the fall semester. Then in December, uh, they spend six hours, well, those who participate uh, spend about six hours solving those difficult problems. Uh, and uh, that's what, um, and sometimes they place in um, on honorable mention territory, I would say. Uh, study and you run those sessions. You uh, run the Putnam sessions sometimes no, with the help. Some, yeah, yeah, I mean, yes, but with someone else. These are rotating, right? Sometimes with rotating cast, but uh, uh, yeah, somehow got involved in this and uh, 
then I found that I like. Um, yeah. uh, right. And sometimes so, yeah. the math club, someone from the math club helps you. Well, sometimes some people from the math club are, of course, mm -hmm. part of it. And, and some uh, of them take a bigger role. Yes, so um, study abroad, uh, of course, unfortunately, not so much recently. Uh, some research programs are still a possibility, and uh, you can see some examples uh, later on of what our students did. Uh, yes, the math club uh, should be mentioned here. Um, uh, we uh, sometimes organize uh, extracurricular gatherings, uh, which can be presentations, um, research presentations. I think two students gave research talks, or was it three? I think three uh, this year in the fall. I, I don't remember exactly, but uh, they talked about what they did in the summer. And uh, we had another event in spring. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes professors give talks and sometimes they're just social math club just hosts social events and every, you know, everybody gets together and does something watches a movie or plays games we, uh, we are just waiting uh, for hopefully next year when we can just not worry about what the current mask status is and so on and just order pizza for everybody and uh, without too much hesitation around all of this so yes, yes. Uh, that's oh, uh, actually yes. let me interject and sure. let me let me interject and say that also when in the calculus sequence we now have an extra one credit course you can take alongside a calculus that's like um it's like a kind of a challenge class or or more exploration uh, uh anyway sort of like a math challenge that goes together with each of the calculus classes um, and you can choose to take that if you want Ah, that's right. I uh, did not fit into uh, the bullet points, but yes, it's uh, so it's something that uh, kind of in between taking class and extracurricular activity, because it does count as taking a class, but it's also more of discussion and exploration than um, just learning. Any questions um, so far? I've been... I think I've been talking all this time. So let's see if there is anything to add here. Maybe not, uh, besides calculus. So, um, right, uh, these bullet points are uh, general patterns that uh, we notice in the trajectories of our uh, students, of what they do uh, with their degree varies a lot, it depends on really what they're interested in. Uh, certainly graduate school is uh, a good number of them go to graduate schools, although mostly for masters, uh, not for PhD, uh, masters uh, degrees in sort of more applied professional areas, um, uh, closely related to data or finance or uh, statistics perhaps. And um, anybody who has a, a math, uh, is a minor or double major in computer science is certainly uh, well qualified with their mathematics skills. Uh, they are also well um, qualified for software development, especially when it's mathematical, um, like developing trading platforms, uh, things like that. Uh, insurance. That's uh, not necessarily an actuarial. Um, some work as underwriters, uh, which is a different kind of activities and uh, uh, finance uh, that, that usually requires uh, additional preparation because purely mass major probably would not be enough to immediately go to JP Morgan. Uh, you would need a bit more credentials. Um, consulting of various kinds, um, government of forensics. Did I miss anything uh, recent? Probably not. Um, so let's see. Well, uh, uh, Yu, uh, what's your plan for after graduation? Um, so I apply for graduate school. So most likely I will go to University of Rochester to study 
uh, statistics in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, by, all right, uh, they have an excellent biostatistics program in the uh, medical schools, I believe, medical school, I believe, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so right, graduate school does this, does not necessarily mean ma mathematics, uh, and mm -hmm. indeed for most students it's not strictly mathematics. But we did have a few uh, who went specifically for PhD in mathematics as well. And uh, yeah, I became... feel like like they really like students from mathematics instead, even like prefer students from math than student from stats, like for their PhD program. Like they require strong mathematical background instead of like statistics background. So I feel like um, I'm pretty lucky. Um, I majored in mathematics during my undergrad. But it's a PhD program, right? Are you... Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, yes, Claudia, you were saying something. Well, no, I was just going to say we just sent a couple of students to Penn and to University of Pennsylvania in math. Oh, no, sorry, we sent one and one to Illinois, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And ah, so those few... were... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And those were PhD uh, programs, yeah. Um, yeah. PhD in math. And... Um, ah, yes, uh, that's a good point, by the way. Uh, when, we, when I talked about different majors, it's true that if it's a PhD program, if it's a PhD program, even if it's very applied, even if it's statistics, uh, the best background is still pure mathematics, the theoretical okay. mathematics, uh, Bachelor of Science program in mathematics, to be specific, uh, because they need a theoretical, analytical foundation more than anything. You can build many uh, additional layers of stuff, but they need the foundation, and that's, that's mathematics. That's a good point. Um, and also, just to mention the pure, I mean, the mathematics major and the applied mathematics major actually have a lot of overlap. So uh, a lot of people decide they want the one or the other a bit later on. I mean, there's, there's overlap between the tracks, but then they diverge after a while. So you don't have to know right away which one you would want. Uh, I don't know why I have this slide. <laughs> Yeah, it won't mean anything to people, probably. Uh, yeah, so I guess we could. Well, we, do, we have a pretty broad math department. I mean, it's, it has people doing research in pretty much most of the breadth of mathematics. There, I mean, maybe there's no number theory, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. And well, uh, it shows that uh, if you remember that there are about 50 um, graduate students, uh, it means there are many. Uh, uh, engaged graduate students who are here for a long time, who have teaching and uh, mentoring experience. Uh, and that's why the directed reading program works uh, uh, very well, because those are senior uh, graduate students who are about to become professors themselves um, well, in a few years. Uh, and uh, then they spend time uh, directing um, guiding some uh, undergraduate one-on-one -on -one, uh, through some uh, advanced topic. I mean, they're very, very, uh, there's a very wide range of topics, yeah. Okay, but other than that, I think I cannot say much about this. Uh, okay, I didn't mean this to be a long presentation. <laughs> so uh, I put in a link, which is, um, uh, it's, well, it's, um, it's not going to work here. So, can you, hoping... paste, can you paste it in the chat? Yeah, I, I should. Uh, indeed, I, I should, uh, uh, because I feel that, that it, it did not really work for me. Okay, so bit.ly uh, undergraduate research at SU. That's what it's supposed to be. Let's see, if I click it here, does it work? Um, yeah. Yes, it does. Okay. So uh, this is uh, meant to be a, it used to work. Um, ah, okay, this way. Uh, so the, what I wanted to show here, again, not going into details, but uh, since we were 
talking about uh, summer research and students who went on to PhD careers and so on. Danica was one of such students. She is now at Michigan State University uh, doing PhD, and I think she's still there, right? Uh, yes, she, graduated. she passed her exams, and she has a, she's working with a K theorist there, um, whose name I forgot suddenly. Yes, she's doing well. Uh, yes, uh, of course, it's uh, graduated nineteen, so uh, PhD in mathematics is a long process. It's five, five yeah, six yeah, it's years. Yeah, yeah, still going to be a while. Um, mm -hmm. Not yeah. that easy. Yeah. And similarly, yeah, and, yes. And Shinshuan at Penn is, is 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 also having a good time. She has changed her direction a bit, and she's going to do combinatorics mm -hmm. in in the math department. I see. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have. Ah, I see. I don't have her um, slides. Right. And Irving is doing uh, something with number theory, I believe, in Illinois. Uh, Jin Young, ah, University of Chicago. Okay. He, he went to a master's program, computational applied mathematics. And uh, Austin. Ah, yes, that's a nice. Uh, I mean, I like this example. It not, you don't necessarily have to be a math major to do math. Um, uh, Austin was a math minor. His major was philosophy um, and economics for some reason. Um, and he went into law school, um, which is fine. I mean, again, one doesn't have to become a professional mathematician. It's still relevant, uh, either for medical school or for uh, law school. Uh, a degree like mathematics makes your application stronger. Uh, so that's what I wanted to uh, highlight from there. And I don't think I had anything else in the, yeah, that's, that's that was about it. Um, okay, any questions?